I wouldn't listen to me on how to do things. This is just fun for us to hang out and talk about cars and do stuff. Um, I know enough about cars to get myself in trouble. Shut up! You don't think Ryan is famous? Cousin Ryan. You gotta... Hey, what's up YouTube friends and family? It's Cousin Ryan and I wanted to do a quick little video just to show you the... I don't want to say the dangers, but the caveat or whatever of buying a generic tool as opposed to a name brand tool on Amazon. Uh, what I needed was a flaring tool. Never used one before. Watched videos of how to use them on YouTube and pretty straightforward. What I needed to do was put a little flare on the end of this uh, stainless steel tubing. This is 3 8 stainless steel. It's fuel line for our Ectomobile here. And what the flare does when you put a rubber fuel line over it, it allows you to put a hose clamp on here and then it just won't come off because the end of the hose has a little bit of a flare, if that makes sense. So that way it has something to kind of butt up against. I went ahead and bought the cheap $25 tool. I'm going to put links to both of these down in the description. Um, and it came in this nice little case. Here you go with all the little pieces here. And the idea is that you take this and you find, I don't know how well you can see it here, but there's 3 8 This is, like I said, 3 8 stainless steel. Stainless steel is harder to work with. Um, you put it in the hole that says 3 8 stainless steel. Tighten her down. I'm trying to remember now how I used this one. The other pain in the butt with this one, it's got a little it's got its own little flare on the end right here so it'll keep it from falling through but as you spin if you stop with it like this it just falls right out total hassle the one i'm gonna like i said put a link to this down in the description this is rigid it's got a flare on both sides so it can't come out but so here let me just unwind this now the idea is this clamp right here will fit over that and this little die goes into the tube there and what you'll do is you can see that crank that down and just get it tight so it doesn't fall apart okay it won't come off now and I don't know hopefully you can see there's little kind of crevices or craters there that gives the pipe room to spread out and flare when you crank this uh, down into the tube but what happens this doesn't grab the tube very well and what it ends up doing is just pushing the tube right out of the holder now stainless steel is really hard it's a hard metal and that's part of the problem so this may work for other metals that are a little bit softer and are easier to they'll give before they'll push out of the thing you can see we had it right flush with the top of this bracket and it's pushed itself all the way back in there. So, I will show you a better, more expensive one. This was like 25 bucks-ish, between 25 and 30. This one from Rigid was $56. Sort of the same deal here. Um, we'll look for three eighths. This one actually has a few extra, let's see, this one's got one, two, three, four, five holes. This one's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven options. I'm going to find 3 8 Actually, let's do the other. Let's do the other end. Fit it in there. Then this slides on here. You know, and one thing I did have to do when I was doing the fuel lines, I had to, sorry, I don't know, maybe that was out of frame. Sometimes to get it really clamped onto that tightly I had to crank this one down and it kind of squeezes this bracket around the uh, tube a little bit and then you can slide it the rest of the way again I'm not a mechanic I'm all completely self-taught I have no formal training so I wouldn't listen to me on how to do things this is just fun for us to hang out and talk about cars and do stuff um, I know enough about cars to get myself in trouble. Okay, here we go. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm moving the, the die down into the tube there. 
tighten that up. Now I'm going to crank this one down. Get it really, really tight. Tightening this one's important because it grips the, the tubing then and prevents it from sliding out of the bracket. Crank this down. Do it. Now undo it. Like I said, this is more of a, just a comparison between the tools and not so much a, a how-to, but there you go. You can see that created a nice little flare on the end of that. So again, this is the case of spending, well, twice as many dollars, but spending a few more dollars on a good name brand tool like Rigid. It works properly. It's cheap generic Amazon stuff doesn't work so much. I will link both of them down in the description though just so in case you're interested in buying these uh, you can see which one not to get and like I said this may work with some softer metals it doesn't work with a dang with stainless steel and uh, at least not three quarter or three eighths stainless steel. I hope I said three eighths from the beginning. But that's it. Um, hope you guys got something out of that and until next time be excellent to each other. You know, sir, it's cousin Ryan on the Hollywood Boulevard. You know, sir, it's bigger than any superstar. All of us meet you some, some real to a bar. Some of them sweeter than any chocolate bar. Boom! Hey.